Good morning. Welcome everyone to Hartsfield Elementary. I am BJ Van Camp, the proud principal of this school. I want to say a special welcome to all of our guests and especially to our school board members for being here this morning and especially to Ms. Maggie Lewis Butler who advocates for Hartsfield as our school board rep. So thank you for being here. And then a very, very special thank you for Ms. Beasley STEM's fifth grade class being here and taking time out of your busy schedules for learning. We are here today to celebrate the recognition that has been given to Leon County Schools for receiving exemplary status for our African American History Task Force. This is such an important initiative because it is essential that we educate our students about the, the full and rich contributions that African Americans have made to our Florida history, but also to our United States history. So we could not have done that without the leadership and the vision of Superintendent Pons. So Mr. Jackie Pons. Thank you. Van Camp does such a great job here as a principal of Hartsfield, and I noticed walking in today, uh, it gives you a great feeling just seeing how pretty the campus looks and uh, the work that's done. Miss Beasley, as I came in here, the first thing these great students told me that they love you, and they love your teaching, and, they, and guess what? They love science. So let's give her a big hand. Today, uh, we're joined by our school board members that are here, and uh, this really isn't a superintendent's initiative. This was a school board initiative, something that we all did as a team. And in this district, we have a great school board that helps me, and uh, we work together. And this is something that every school board member that we have uh, wanted to see happen. They felt like if there's an exemplary status in the state of Florida, uh, for African American history that why can't we have it right here in the state capitol uh, in Tallahassee, Florida with the Leon County school system. It's one of the highest performing districts in the entire state. So I thank our school board members for their leadership on this. We're also joined today by Reverend McAllister who's here with us. I appreciate him being here with us today. And again students, what this is all about is uh, when you think about African American history, we don't need to think about it one day of the year or one week of the year or one month of the year. We need to be thinking about it all year long and we need to infuse it into our curriculum in social studies so we can teach it with real life examples throughout the year. And that's what this is all about and having that type of status. And I'm very proud of it and I think it shows that we're innovative here in our system it shows that we value culture and we value information and we want to make sure that that information is never forgotten and that we teach it daily and that we take a lot of pride in teaching it. So today is a celebration for us. It's a celebration for our school district and it's something as superintendent that I'm very, very proud of. We're going to do something a little different today. Uh, normally, uh, I, I would like to give an opportunity if we could. Uh, we have several people that are here from DOE that have helped us, several people that sat on a statewide committee that really helped lead us in this direction. But I'd like, since our school board has been uh, really strong in this uh, leadership effort, I'd like to give each one of them just a couple of minutes to tell their feelings on this. We're going to start with our board chair, Ms. Joy Bowen. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. Good morning. Good morning. I am excited this morning. I'm excited to be here for lots of reasons. First of all, this is a very beautiful campus and I was met and greeted by the president and the vice president of your student body. They are absolutely outstanding young women and I got to hear about your science projects that you've been teaching your parents about. Good job and you blew the roof off of the place last night. I'm happy to be at Hartsfield this morning. I'm also happy to be here today because this is in my mind a first step in our county to have the total history of American history taught. A first step, 
American history should include the histories of all of the people. And African Americans are some of the people who live in America and help to make the history what it is today. And so I'm excited about that. I'm excited because I know that boys and girls who look like me and who don't look like me will get an opportunity to hear and learn and be informed and educated about the the, the, the person who may be seated next seat, about the neighbors down the street, about who invented the light bulb, about who made the, um, the, the, the curtains, about who really designed the traffic, traffic light. That's exactly <laughs> where I was going. <laughs> All of those folk, you have no information about, oh, I didn't know that. Well now, I hope from kindergarten through high school, this kind of information can be shared with all of the boys and girls in Leon County. There are so many people today that we could thank for making this happen. Many are standing behind me. Ms. Maggie Lewis Butler has undertaken this as a yeoman's type job and has done an excellent job in being on the committee. Your, your neighbors, your, your, your mamas and daddies, friends and neighbors were all a part of this and so today, when you get back home tonight and you see yourself on television, you'll be able to tell your parents that you were a part of the class that set before the task force that introduced this initiative into the Leon County School System. So I hope that you feel good about it. Do you? Yeah. Give yourselves a great hand. Thank you. And now uh, I would like for school board member Maggie Lewis Butler, who was very instrumental in yeah. this process, who had shown great leadership students in bringing this initiative forward. Let's give her a big hand. Good morning. Good morning. This is an exciting day in the neighborhood. Uh, this is a historic day for Leon County School District. We're celebrating the infusion of African American history in the curriculum because it is American history. The goal is to give all students increased knowledge of African American history, which will result in overall improved student performance. We are the seventh county to receive exemplary status. Presently, we have nine districts to earn this recognition out of 67 counties in the state of Florida. Because of this great accomplishment, we would like to thank many people because we had to have people to make this happen. And we want to give them some thanks. Reverend Faust for his consistent dedication in coming to the board. Superintendent Ponds and Leon County School Board for their commitment to this initiative. We'd like to thank the staff Dr. Henderson, Mr. Crow, Dr. Gale, and Ms. Jo Marie Oak for their teamwork in making this happen. Thank Ms. Robinson and Mr. Fernandez for leading the teacher training. See, teachers had to get trained for this initiative so they'll know what to do for you young people. Uh, we thank all our teachers for their participation in this commitment. Teachers have to have training to make sure that you are able to pass the test on African Americans. I would like to uh, tell you about the teacher training I attended. It was dynamic. Teachers were excited. And because we have workshop training for our teachers, we're going to have ongoing training for our teachers. Also, I'd like to thank the Commission of Education African American History Task Force. And we have two of them with us here today, which include Dr. Bernadette Kelly. Mm -hmm. She's the principal investigator of the African American Task Force. Mm -hmm. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Dr. Mark House, he's the vice chair. Let's give him a hand as well. <laughs> uh, Ms. Sherry Dupree, Ms. Herrick Holliday, Dr. Patrick Moore, Dr. Kelly, Pressy, Senator Geraldine Thompson, Mrs. Melissa Wright, Dr. Samuel Wright Sr., United States Representative Federica Wilson, and yours truly, Maggie Lewis Butler. They made sure we met the criteria by providing required evidence 
to be in compliance with applicable guidelines. It was not easy. <laughs> Thanks to our parents and community partnerships, we have some of our partnerships here with us today. Mrs. Alfred Meese Vaughn, the Riley House Museum Director is here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Taylor, the Taylor House, they're here. We partner with our partnerships to make our curriculum a success. Finally, I want to thank Pam Stood, Commissioner of Education with the Florida Department of Education for her final approval and acknowledgement of exemplary status distinction. We are an exemplary district. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to bring up a school board member, Mr. Forrest Van Camp. Let's give him a big hand. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. From the greeting I received when I first came on campus by your president and vice president, it was just amazing. I felt so great and so much at home here at Hartsville. Of course, this is a great occasion today, and I'm so glad that we're here to participate in this with you. I'd like to share just a little thing uh, for our students that are here today, because we're here about history, our history, you know, there's a little song that many of us learned, Jesus loves the little children of the world. Red, yellow, black, and white, they're all precious in his sight. Mm -hmm. So each child has a particular history and culture. And we learn of this in many of our classes, in a lot of our textbooks. But let me tell you where the richest source of history is. That's for your grandparents. Mm -hmm. Talk to your aunts, your uncle, or your grandparents, your mom and dad about their history, about what they learned, where they've been, and you'll enrich yourself with your own personal family history, and that's so important. And so, our congratulations as this being as the host school. We're excited for our district and what we're here and what we're about is because of those young people that are sitting here. Let's enjoy the day. Students, I'd like to bring forward a special community leader, uh, Reverend McAllister, who is also a member of the Superintendent's Business Advisory Council, which will have our first meeting in the next two weeks. And I'd like for him to come forward to say a few words. So let's give Reverend McAllister a big hand. Thank you, Mr. Pons. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad and excited to be here on this morning. Oftentimes, I'm asked the question, what is the greatest investment we can ever make within the framing of our community? And I often share with folk that it's not our 401ks, it's not the homes we live in, the cars we drive, nor the clothes we have on our backs. The biggest investment we can ever make is always investing in our children. And I want to take this time to thank the leadership of the school district, Mr. Pons, Dr. Henderson, the school board members, the principals, the teachers, and all those persons who um, are very concerned about the school district that we have an opportunity to play a participatory role. Thank you for the hard work, the commitment, the dedication in making sure that we help to undergird and provide new information to our young people. This is a wonderful day because this gives all of us an opportunity to learn more about Frederick Douglass. It gives us an opportunity to learn more about um, Madam C.J. Walker. It gives us another opportunity to hear and to know stories about Rosa Parks, Adam Clayton Powell, and so many others who paved the road and made uh, life a little easier for all of us. And so again, thank you Mr. Bonds, thank you to the school district, to the principals, and all those persons who have made this day a special day, and we look forward to seeing uh, many more opportunities to share in a context not too dissimilar from this one, so that we can play a fundamental role in the lives of our children and let them know that ultimately, the best is yet to come. Thank you again. I'm going to ask uh, my deputy superintendent, uh, Dr. Marvin Henderson, who really runs the day-to-day -day operations for me in all the schools and does a great job and help work with me hand-in-hand -hand on this project to come say a few words. Dr. Henderson. 
Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. I am also very, very proud to be a part of this event today. It, it's history being made right before our eyes. And today is an, is a, is an opportunity for all of us to feel included. Uh, our country is all inclusive and represents all cultures, as has been said. One thing that, that jumps out at me when the issue, this, this whole uh, infusion process started for not just African American history, but also Hispanic history and the history of the Holocaust, all those things were passed during the Child's administration by the legislature then. And the one thing that, that, that uh, Reverend Fouts said when he came out, he reminded us that this was law. And this school board, this superintendent listened and, and did not just want to infuse it, but to become a, a, an exemplary district with the infusion of all histories. And, and I commend the superintendent, I commend this board, and I commend all of our principals and teachers and the committees that have been a part of it, uh, uh, Dr. Kelly, Dr. House, uh, Ms. Lewis Butler and their efforts uh, at bringing this uh, to fruition today. So I'm very, very proud to be a part of this, Mr. Superintendent, as I know you are and, and our board and our, the Department of Management uh, Services, uh, School Management Services with our divisional directors also feel very, very happy about this great day. So thank you so much for the opportunity, Mr. Superintendent. Thank you. As we close, uh, I just wanted to tell a, a little story today that I got here a little early and I got to sit down with the students. And the other day I spent almost an hour at Sealy in classrooms talking to students. And we as, as adults, we still learn a lot from the students. And one of the things school board members, they asked me today as we're sitting there talking, we're talking about devices, you know, about how the newest thing now, you know, throughout the country that you're seeing is uh, devices for students that where you have 24 hour access to information. So you've given me some homework, you know, because we're leaders in everything. And, and uh, that just shows the expectations that our students have in us mm -hmm. you know i think that and i think that's great that they expect us if there's a new uh, wave of leadership or technology or exemplary status they expect us to be there and that's great and so i've got some homework that i'm going to take with me today from the students so i can see when we can come up with a plan or and, and try to pay for it, of course, but, <laughs> but that's part of it. And the other story, students, I want to tell you today that I started my day at, at Rudiger Elementary where I'm mentoring a student with my wife, Kay, and uh, I can't tell you, I hadn't felt that way in a long time. It was a great feeling, and uh, it's something that, uh, you know, I've been in this job elected three times, and you get busy with your day to day, but I can tell you for all the adults that are here today, the feeling that I got today, I think I got way more out of that than the student got. So I would challenge everybody here too, if, uh, if you're not mentoring a student, you need to do that. Not, just, not for the student, I'm gonna tell you it's for you. And, and that's the way I feel today, I feel good. So I felt good coming in here and it's great to be here. Principal Van Camp, you've got a beautiful campus, you're doing a great job. And we're going to close, and if anybody has any questions, we'll be glad to answer them. But the first thing I'm doing is I promised I'm going to take a picture with all y'all right here, as I promised I would. And, uh, again, thank you all for being here today. It's a great day for the Leon County School System. Thank you very much.